Yes, and that's you. where we go back to free moral agency. God creates us. Why does, and, and I know we but can see, go round had, and round he in had circles. No te- Satan was not tempted. N- well, that's not necessarily true. I think every, Who tempted, not in the sense. Who okay, tempted well, him? Let me, let me say. Again, the, the temptation was not necessarily from external sources. It's from within, as it always is. Heart. Will I yield what I am, what God has created, to the plan of God? Or will I hold myself in such high regard that I push myself forward? And this is what Satan so, did. Okay, but well you're saying that, that within the human being, there is the possibility of a propensity of temptation without Satan even interfering. Oh, absolutely. Um, and, and today, that's true because of the sin nature, the indwelling sin. Well, it starts out in but, the, it starts out in, in the Garden of Eden with Satan doing right. the tempting. The word for, right. for heart in the Old Testament. I think the temptation, though, to do evil, in some way, is always instigated by Satan or demon powers or whatever the case. Well, it, again, from guesswork that we have to do. And and I may it be wrong guesswork. with that. It, it comes from within the decision to yield. When we talk about free moral agency, God created not just Satan, but also a third of the angels. They were created perfect too. They had no sin nature. Uh, Adam and Eve fell without a sin nature. So all of this is a choice and, you know, in God's choice to create us with this free moral agency is the choice we have to make to yield to God. When we fail to yield ourselves holistically to the Father, that's sin. And I think that's the sin of yeah. Lucifer. He, but all of that traces back to Satan himself in, to, one, in one way or the other. Right. But your question was why and what did Satan, uh, where did that stem from? Satan didn't use the sin nature in Adam and Eve. He used the, the ability to choose they had, they had uh, the ability to choose, the ability to thrust our, uh, but ourselves saying, though, forward that their, beyond God's will. Their temptation did not originate in their own heart. It started by Satan and then went to their heart. I agree. So with Satan, where did the pride come from? Yeah. Let me read a scripture. That's what I'm asking. In Isaiah chapter 14, verse 13, it says, For thou hast said in thine heart, the word heart there, labab, in the Hebrew has the idea, and the context is means authority within. That is the proper understanding of the root of that word in the Hebrew. We have within our own hearts the ability to make a choice. Where iniquity comes in is when we disobey God, Satan really was saying, I want to be as God. And that's why it says, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. That's Isaiah 14 and 13. The previous verse in 12 says additional things. So within the heart, one has the authority within that God has placed that free will to choose to follow the Lord, perfect as the Lord asks us to do or not. Adam and Eve did not have to sin. They chose to disobey God. Adam did more particularly to disobey God openly and knowingly because he chose the deception that he wanted to be like God. All wrong direction, all false doctrine uh, starts out with the concept, I believe, of pride. It has us going or using a different route than what God has revealed to man or whatever was revealed to Lucifer at that time before he fell. We don't know all the particulars of his revelation. We know what the Lord has revealed to us and what we can obey and what we're able to obey. The new covenant is not about doing, it's about believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he there did at the cross. If we go a different route, we are then entering into our pride to see or we're being deceived where our pride is taking us to where we're saying, I can do this. That's, that's basically saying, I'm God. I can now handle my own problems. Out of the heart proceeds murders, yeah. uh, adulteries, adulteries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the propensity for that heart to do that originated somewhere in the past with Satan. Mm-hmm. He's the originator of sin. 
Now, well, hold on just a sure, moment. Sure. Do you have? Do you, do you have any idea as to where, if, if sin didn't come from Satan, where did it come from? Brother Swagger, uh, failure is interesting. To answer that question has led to things in church history like the doctrine of the reconciliation of all things. Yeah, ultimate reconciliation. And they have put forth the idea, and you could find it in Isaiah 45, verse 7, uh, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. But evil, there's not the word that normally is, is thought of, of evil. Correct. And I, and I understand. I, the Lord, do all these things. But they take these scriptures in conjunction with the question you put forth, where did evil come from? If it began with Satan, who allowed it to begin with Satan? And then they register the blame toward God. And the concept is that God is using Satan essentially as a peon, and in the end of time, even Satan himself will be reconciled to God, because yes, God right. used That's what Satan to right. God used Satan to uh, you know basically reveal his own glory. Um, and uh, I just put it out there because a failure to answer this question you're set, you're putting forth, where did evil come from, has led many s smart men. I have a family member, incidentally, who. Once went to this church, he's gotten, he's full bore into this doctrine that one day God's going to reconcile all things, including Satan, and all men will be saved. I just put that out there because I think it's a very interesting question. It is. No, uh, another yeah, question, what kind of wisdom was this? First, Corinth, first and second uh, Corinthians chapters 1 and 2 talk about the wisdom of, of man and the wisdom of God. It says he's full of wisdom, but what kind of wisdom? Yeah, again, I think we, to be truly submitted, we have to choose. Well, and, okay. and this is really what I, why I think, and this would, it, it doesn't answer all built the questions. In, built into the heart of man uh, has to be the ability to choose evil. Right. He wants to. Or, oh, God, or God wouldn't have the type of man that he wanted okay. when he created man. Let's go to the end of the story. At the end of the story, according to biblical record and biblical prophecy, the only one's creation that is still in relationship with God are those who, despite whatever came their way, chose God. They chose God, right. yeah, whether, so they're angels, yeah. whether they're angels, whether uh, they're angels, beings, creation that has a right to choose. The only way to really submit to God is by choice. I have to choose to submit. So that means that I also must have the choice not to submit. Jesus, his temptations as we see, the perfect man, is all about submission to the Father or no. Yeah. Will you do it your way? Right. Or will you yeah. do it my way? Uh, when Satan tempts him, all of those temptations are Jesus showing his submission to the Father. Um, and, and that is what God has designed. And in the end, only those who submit to the will of the Father will be with the Father, will be with God. So again, who do it test. of their own volition. Right. They're not coerced. In exactly. Doing it. And so I think, I mean, I have to, you know, I, I choose to love my wife. Uh, it, it's a choice. Um, yeah, of course, let's I'm go not stop forced a moment. to. God goes back to creation and he instilled that in the hearts of men. All creation. All creation. All, right. Angels too. And this is where, right. again, right. Satan yeah. didn't have to be what he became. But he um, chose to be. There. But he chose to be. And this is where I think it starts. When, I, I agree with that. When we, when we choose to submit to God, his will, his word, his way, we become a member of the family of God. And even now, we're at times it's, it's difficult to find and submit to the will of God. We say we want it, but there's things in us sometimes that wants to push us another direction. Most